Okay, uh, next little project is uh, this bracket here. This is an alternator bracket. And that's uh, all rusty. Terrible. So I'm going to clean it, clean it up, polish it with uh, this um, wheel, wire wheel, and uh, mount it on my drill. So I'm going to polish her up and uh, we'll see how it turns out. All right. Got to paint it or something. I'm uh, fixing up a bracket on uh, my engine here. And uh, some bolts rusted off. You can see the holes there holding a bracket. Anyways, this is one of the bolts. And uh, two of them rusted off. I'll show those to you too. And uh, anyways, I'm cutting new threads onto this bolt. And then what I'm going to do is tap out the, uh, the bolts or drill them out first and then re-tap the bolts where they rusted off. Anyways, this is one of the bolts that rusted off right here. And, uh, so uh, that's the project anyways. Um, using uh, Tim's uh, tap and die set, you pretty well need the whole whole rig to uh, get it right in this regard believe me but I uh, got the setup right here and uh, you just turn it and it uh, cuts cuts new threads and anything bolts so here's another view you can see the uh, new threads that I tapped into this bolt and that bolt and I drilled them out Tap new threads, got some screws to fit, and almost ready to go back together. So that worked out pretty well. Just got to vacuum up now. Put the pulley, pulley off in the belt. There's an alternator bracket. So uh, I managed to uh, get this bracket on again. Um, this is the alternator bracket. It had uh, um, both of these bolts actually had had rusted off. So I have uh, completed the alternator bracket repair. You can see the two new bolts that I put in. And I tapped uh, their stainless bolts and then it's uh, connected back up to the alternator there. Good steel bracket. That's what you need. Just got to put the uh, belt back on it and uh, try out the engine.